Sometimes I have to pinch myself. Just look at it. Appreciate its form. Consider its function. It's like nothing that's ever existed before. Designer Russell Carr calls it carved by air. A perfectly proportioned blend of porosity, fluidity and crisp lines. The pronounced muscular haunches that envelop the teardrop cabin as it sinks between them. In my opinion, it's the best car in the world. But I guess you'd expect me to say that. It's just that not enough people know about it yet. That will change. You're going to be hearing a lot more about Avaya in the coming months. It's a bold statement of intent about our ambition. The most powerful series production road car ever built by any company. And it's a Lotus. I've been lucky enough to drive it many times and it never ceases to amaze me. It's a sensational experience, genuinely breathtaking. The Avaya sets a new standard for Lotus dynamic performance. 100 to 200 kilometers an hour in less than three seconds and 200 to 300 in less than four seconds. It leaves petrol powered hypercars trailing. It is a true Lotus the mid-mounted battery pack echoes the layout of so many of our legendary road and race cars. Avaya continues that bloodline. It was ahead of its time, even before it was launched. When we unveiled Avaya, Lotus was already committed to a fully electric future. We just hadn't told anyone yet. We knew the Electra, our fully electric hyper SUV, and three other EVs were in the pipeline. Believe me, this is just the start from Lotus. In every corner of this business, the passion to succeed is immense. And to be part of it, I'm the luckiest guy in the world.